All right, hey there, Proxies. This is Prox right here, and guys, welcome back to another episode of the uh, Super Mario Sunshine. And yes, we are back here at the nice, peaceful area of the island Delfino, and we are still continuing our way throughout the Bianco Hill section because we still need to go collect a few more different shiny sprites so that we could be able to unlock Rico Harbor. That's all the way down over here, but unfortunately, there's no goop here yet, uh, so we can't really trigger any type of event that's going to be happening right now. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot be able to go and grab that annoying blue bird that's all the way up there because unfortunately, I can't grab that blue coin. Uh, Maybe until, like, probably when I get myself, like, the rocket nozzle or something, I could try to, like, sneak attack up behind it or something to try to grab it. But I'm not going to really try and worry about trying to do a 100% uh, challenge anyways. I'm just going to try and just uh, go through, uh, mainly throughout all the different uh, episodes, go through, like, all, all the way up to, like, episode 8, and just grab all the strikes right from there, and we'll just uh, keep on doing that uh, until we get uh, to all the way over to Corona Mountain, which that is going to be the uh, last section of this place. So... Well, so let's go and do uh, another mission here. I know that uh, I well haven't we already taken care of uh, a P Piranha? I don't think we already have so yeah Now we got ourselves down with P Piranha that is gonna be episode 2 So why not let's go and head on all the way down here and let's try to get this all finished over here with now really um yeah, also too, I will be grabbing out blue coins as well, uh, but I'll only grab the blue coins uh, only when I do see them like in my actual eyesight, and, and, and then I'll be able to uh, go ahead and pick those guys up. Because there is quite a bit of coins that I actually do kind of know uh, exactly where they are, um, but I'm not going to like try and really worry about grabbing every single blue coin. But I'll always, but, but I'll see them like when I'm around the around the vicinity of where I am right now. Like, uh, for example, um, like, actually, for example, I could actually go and grab two blue coins already right here, right now. Because I'm pretty certain, I think, in episode two, you can actually go and find these two blue coins that are right behind here. Yeah, you can find one blue coin that's here, and I think there's, like, another one hiding in, uh, in the ocean. And I'm pretty certain, uh, in episode two, uh, you can actually go and, uh, dive underwater, and you can go ahead and, uh, grab this blue coin already. So there we go, that's the one blue coin already for this episode so not too shabby but what we do need to do is hop all the way up onto onto this log here and uh, now we could go and uh, get the heck on out of here oh yeah there is also an M shaped spot as well so this is also another uh, thing that we could actually go ahead and do oop didn't want to do that oh but look how much the slowdown is on that that's like super terrible Oh, so that's, okay, so that's how you do it. So you actually have to use your C-stick to actually uh, move around Flood's face. Okay, I get it. I always got the stick of that you have to use the the other the other control stick to do it. Oh, no, I almost had it. There we go. Now, there is also another blue coin that we could also go ahead and do as well, too. And uh, this one may be a little bit tricky for some people, but I know how to properly do it. But all you really have to do is just kind of just stand on this little barrier and uh, just kind of use your C-stick and you can actually line this up a little bit properly. Kind of kind of land on it a little bit. There you go. Shoot that. And then now you just come around Hop on down here, and there is your blue coin right there waiting for you. Now the next one, um, now this one may be a little bit tricky to do. But, really, just kind of get down somewhere around here. And then you can just go ahead and uh, do this. Oh, come on. There we go. And then that is how you grab the other section of that blue coin. So I'll make sure to fall down here. Pick this guy up. And we also can't forget about the other one. Now this one, uh, all we have to do is just kind of come around down underneath. And kind of head back up to where we last were. Which that's not going to be too much of a problem. Because really we got ourselves the, uh, the tightrope star right here. So come up here like so Whoa, 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 ah 
Well, that was a bad idea. Well, you know what? I'll come back to that one later. I'm not going to really worry about trying to grab out that one. We'll go back into, like, another episode, and we'll try and do that one instead. But there is a blue coin uh, right underneath that water, which you can actually go ahead and grab if you want to. Which I'm going to probably go ahead and do. Because I believe there's actually uh, two blue coins down here. You can actually find one that's just right underneath here inside the water. And I believe you can also find another one on the other side, if I'm not mistaken. But I'm not going to really worry about the second one, because the second one is uh, kind of annoying. Because there's going to be like so many of these annoying spiders that are going to be around, so I'm not going to really try and be bothered to do it. We'll just kind of shoot your way through. But, oh God. No, 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 no. Okay, wow, we actually made that across. Jeez. No, I thought I was going to be falling underneath. But I believe that there is another... Woo, 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 woo. If I kind of look to my left, I think there is a blue coin that's somewhere down there, but I'm not going to really try and worry about that all that too much. Alright, I'm just going to shoot my way across, try to get all this annoying water out of here. But at least we have enough water to literally uh, take care of all this. So that we don't have to slip all the way down the annoying hill. Nice. Now here's some water that we can go and get refilled up if we wanted to. And uh, also, there's going to be some of these uh, miniature uh, piranha plants as well too, that you can actually get yourself a max refill if you want. And then for this one, you just need to go right around. And there we go. Oh, yeah. Can't forget about this one. We need to grab it. I'll come here, you. Come on. Get. This is super annoying, man. Come here. That was just being a pain. Alright. So now we just kind of just sit here and chill for a little bit. Oh yeah, by the way, since we do actually have 11 uh, blue coins now, we can actually get ourselves an extra free shine sprite if we go and talk on over to those uh, Takuni uh, raccoon type guys. Now the one thing that is like super annoying about this whole entire thing, uh, about the premise of Super Mario Sunshine, is that we have to go and find all these different shine sprites, but all those annoying raccoons have the dang freaking uh, shine sprites. Like, 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 why did they have to go and try and capture us? And, and, uh, and, and put us to the task of like finding all these shine sprites, even though that all the raccoons are basically having all of them and stashed it away somewhere. Like, they should be the one being, being the criminals here. Not being us, but what can we do about it? The justice system of the island Delfino is crazy. They can't put away an annoying raccoon. Hey, right, come here, man. Oh, really? Oh, no, 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 no. I'll open up your dang mouth, man. I had it right there. Okay, come on, open up your mouth, open up your mouth. Yes! Okay, so that's the first part done. Then they're going to direct us on to hitting him from, from his belly button. And there we go, that is one hit. So this fight is really not all that too difficult. It's just that you just kind of have to make sure that you kind of get him when he opens up his mouth up here. And then you just kind of go right around. And there you go. Very quick and simple. Now, there's going to be one boss in particular that's going to be very tricky and very annoying. But uh, that's not going to happen until like we reach uh, over to Noki Bay. But I really hate that mission. Where, where where you literally have to like try and brush the brush the, the whale or the or the worm's teeth. Oh there we go. Open up, open up, open up. Oh. Come on man. I'm right here. Yes. Alright, come to me. Drink up your water. And he is done. Wow, that was really quick and simple. 
when I did a practice test recording with this, uh, when I was, uh, oh, you come over here, dude. Where he is gone. Oh, and also too, by the way, if you are down at like one health and, and you actually do kill the boss, um, these guys do not disappear. Just letting you know. And if you do get jumped by one of them and you do only have like one HP left, you will actually get yourself a game over. I have done that before in the past when I first played, uh, uh, this game on the Nintendo GameCube and I would get like so angry all the time is because it's because like the enemies don't disappear like after once you defeat the actual boss itself but like once you get hit you're kind of screwed but I wonder what Peach has to say over here because she's been just kind of relaxing here so welcome back you're so glad that you're safe Mario this vacation has just been a whirlwind of bizarre events huh and now that the bus is to the hotel isn't it even running mm -hmm. Well, at some point, Peach is going to get uh, captured out here again, and we have to go all the way down to Peanut Park, but we're not going to worry about that soon. We're still continuing through this beginning of the game right now. So there it is. There's our first actual, uh, our secret, our first secret out here. Now, uh, now this hillside secret is really not all that too hard. Um, actually, you can, uh, you can actually make it, uh, all the way, uh, to that place if you want to in episode one, but unfortunately there is going to be a Piazza that's going to be blocking your way and saying, uh, unfortunately, uh, only reserved people can only enter, uh, only enter into this place. Alright, so we should probably spray off this guy, right? Kind of get them all cleaned up. There you go. I don't know. Do you give us a blue coin? Phew, you saved me. Thanks a bundle. Oh, but you don't give me no coin. Alright, well, we should probably do another spin jump over here. I love using all the, uh, all the unique Mario moves here in this thing. You can do the spin jump, you can do, uh, literally anything. And I know how to, like, literally do all these, like, off by heart. I think there's also one where you can do, like, uh, like, like a huge gigantic, like, uh, spray thing or something like that, uh, where you can, like, uh, disperse all the water into, like, one area, but I'm not, I'm not too entirely certain on how you, uh, how you do that. Now, I believe the hillside is up here, right? Yeah. Very quick and simple to do. You don't have to worry about using the tightrope unless you, you know how to uh, do that little speedrunner stat there. <laughs> kind of like jumping from one thing to the other. Alright, here we go. I don't know, should I actually put back the attempt counters every time on this place? Because I know it has been quite a while since, uh, since I've done that before. Ooh! Come on, man. I had that right there, and then you just decided to just move out of my way. Thanks, man. I literally had that right there, man. We were doing so well. We were jumping from place to place. Now, I believe that there is uh, a one-up coin, or a one-up uh, mushroom that you can grab from here. Just kind of have to hit this guy down. So you can get yourself a coin if you want. Oop. Yeah. Come on. There we go. And this should give us our one up right here. Yes, our very first one up of the day. Wow. Oh no, you were just stationary. Oh. Okay, I'm just gonna wait until this guy comes back. Oh. oh no, now it's just annoying part. I just say just make a run for it. Oh god! Okay. Oh no, Mario, what are you doing? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. We need the big old uh, yellow part. Oh! Whoa, I almost killed myself there. Whoa, that was a little bit tricky. I remember one time, uh, back in my, uh, in back in my old school Let's Play of Mario Sunshine, I think it was, what, like, the very last little secret mission that I did. I may probably show, like, a highlight of that or something, but I remember, like, I was just inches away of, like, grabbing that shine sprite, and I did a, uh, a a and I did a Mario dive jump trying to grab it, but I missed it at the last second, and I fell right off the, uh, off the platform trying to grab it. That was the most annoying thing ever, and then I had to basically had to redo that all over again. <laughs> 
I don't know if I may probably show that highlight because I don't because uh, it was pretty hilarious. <laughs> May probably have to go back and search for it because I don't know exactly what type of episode that was. But welcome to our very first red coin mission as well too. Uh, now the red coins, I believe there's like two different red coin missions in here. Uh, that always happens. I I, I think uh, how how this works is that uh, is that we get uh, two different red coin missions here and then a shadow Mario level, and also one uh, little secret Mario level as well too where you don't have to use flood at all. But really, finding these red coins here in this mission is really not all that too difficult, and it's really not all that too hard either. Um, it's just all about, um, it's just all about common sense, exactly where to figure out where everything is. You can just come right up here, and I believe there's like two different coins. I think if I won, uh, actually, no, okay. Whoa. Okay, so there's a coin down there, but I'm not gonna really worry about you. So we got one down there. Whoa, hey, you come down there, mister. There we go, that's number five. And also hurt myself a little bit. There we go. Oh no, oh, hey, there's my blue coin. Found a blue coin. That's gonna be 12. Oh no. Okay. Now, uh, there is another blue coin. Yes, sitting right up here. And there also is a blue coin sitting over here as well, too. No, I missed it. Oh. How am I supposed to grab you? So let me uh, come around the bend here. Grab this one. So simple enough. Not hard to grab that blue coin. Okay, there we go. Now we already know where the other next blue coin that's going to be, or where the next other red coin is going to be. I think. Is there one up there? No, there's nothing up there, but. Um, oh, right, yeah, there's one like actually inside the actual. Let me just. Uh... Come on, make it, make it, make it, make it. Oh, no. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, wow, I actually made that across. Jeez. My Mario skills are like going absolutely crazy right now. But there we go. And there is our eight red coins here. Now all it is, it's just about making it up to the top, which is really not that too hard to do. So you can just go around right up here. Ouch. And then we could just come right around. Jump up this. Ow! Oh, you annoying freaking wind dude. I don't know who you are, but get out of here. These guys could get much annoying uh, later in Rico Hyberg. Uh, yeah, because of the whole uh, the whole rocket nozzle mission. Okay. Oh, I actually made that. I thought I was not going to do that. Alright, come on. Make it up. Make it up to the top. There we go. And we got ourselves our shiny sprite once again. It's so nice that they bring back the shiny sprites. I think the last time that we ever got to see shiny sprites ever again, I think, was probably in Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. Or, I could be wrong. Or maybe, um, Super Paper Mario for the Wii. But uh, there we go, guys. So I'm going to end off this episode here for today. Uh, we did quite, we did quite a bit of things that we need to do. We grabbed out some coins and whatnot. Oh, well, actually, you know what? Hold on. Oh, we actually have enough time to do one more thing. Let's actually go and open up Rico Harbor. And then we can go and speak on over to those criminal raccoons that have all the freaking annoying uh, shy sprites here.
There we go. Alright, come on, open up your dang mouth. Nice. Hey! Okay, so now he's finally down. But we're not finished yet, because he's going to be coming back for more. There we go, so that's one hit. Come on, I dare you to hit me again, dude. There we go, and he is down. We may make sure to run away from these guys, because they're going to be... Yeah, super annoying. But there we go. We finally got ourselves Rico Harbor opened. We'll just spray down. Uh... There we go. So Rico Harbor is here. I'm not going to really worry about that right now. But let's go and talk to these guys. Welcome, welcome. I suppose that you're here for that. Um, mm, Yes, very good. That means I will require 10 blue coins from you. And I can exchange those for some shiny sprites. And I'll give you one, yes. So how would you like to, uh, would you like to? Really? You truly mean it? Yes? No refunds. Well, I'm going to take it anyways. There we go. And that is another uh, extra shiny sprite added to our collection. So not too shabby. I wonder what the end game of this uh, of this is gonna probably be. Probably be like the same exact thing where where we actually get ourselves like the shades and whatnot, uh, so so that we can just chill around having the shades on. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna end, uh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna end off this episode here for today. Uh, in the next one, guys, we'll still be continuing our way throughout Bianco Hills, and then we'll make our way on over downwards to Rico Harbor. Um, that may probably not happen uh, within a few episodes uh, uh, for Rico Harbor, because I would like to go and take care of all the uh, different episodes that are here. Uh, but uh, don't forget to leave a comment, like, also subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'll see you guys in the next one, and peace.